Hi, this is Dr. Fox, licensed psychologist in the state of Texas. And in this video, we're going to talk about parenting by shame. And this is something that a lot of parents do, and some of them notice it and some of them don't. This is also a strategy that's used a lot by parents that fall along the narcissistic spectrum. So stick with me. We're going to talk about it and we're going to explore it and we're going to increase your insight. So like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into it. So shame, as, as all of us know, is this sense of intense self-doubt, ridicule, uncertainty, and it breeds this sense of low self-esteem. And when individuals are parented by shame, what happens is, is that they develop this internal sense of low self-esteem, high self-doubt, great uncertainty. But there's a confusion, particularly when it comes to parenting, because a lot of folks think that parenting entails pointing out the negative so that you can do the right thing. And actually, the research shows that when shame is part of parenting, that the individual, not only it increases the likelihood of developing a personality disorder and, and different personality disorders or from different experiences that you may have throughout your life, but also it creates this intense sense of self-doubt and self-fear and fear of the outside world. So, you know, shame from a parenting standpoint, it doesn't encourage growth. And a lot of parents hold on to the view that if I can make you feel bad enough, you'll suddenly rise to the challenge. And I've talked about this in other videos as well, and I call it the Balboa effect. And what the Balboa effect is, it's the, if you've ever seen the movie Rocky, and then we're talking about the first one, you know, Rocky won. And in Rocky, you know, you, you, in the beginning, they're calling him a bum. They say, you bum, you know, because that's how they say it. They go, bum. And, you know, at one point, Rocky even believes that he's a bum. And you see him saying these things to himself, and he's deriding himself. But then suddenly, externally, he's presented with this opportunity to rise to the challenge. And he does, because it's a movie, right? And I don't want to ruin the movie for you. But he rises to the challenge and so forth and so on and so forth. But what happens in real life is that the individual is at a significant likelihood not to rise to the challenge because they have that internalized sense of shame, that internalized sense of doubt. And they're not going to feel low enough to then achieve high enough. And we just don't see that. So what happens in, in individual therapy, that when we see someone has been parented by shame, it's in many ways a reparenting. We want to focus on those aspects, that internal critic, that family in the head that is equating and continuing that sense of shame, doubt, and low self-worth. And we want to instead encourage them to grow and develop. One of the big problems is, is that if the parent is along the narcissistic spectrum, and if they use the child to be shamed in order to show how great the parent is, right? You may have to rewind that a little bit, right? So what we're saying is, is that you shame the child then the parent who's along the narcissistic spectrum says, look how smart and insightful I am that I realize that my kid is this, 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 and fails at this, 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 this. And it's very much parenting by the negative. If you're interested, I can certainly do more videos on parenting by the negative because regretfully it is something really common. You know, human beings are adaptive creatures. They adapt to what's going on around them. And if around them they're getting a lot of encouragement, they tend to aspire to greater achievements. If around them there is a lot of negative talk, negative evaluation, a lot of suffering and pain, it decreases the likelihood of them achieving success. And all parents, I believe, want their kids to be successful. They just don't know how to do it. And we have to parent by the positive. And parenting by the positive is, is that you recognize the good things that the kid is doing. And you also have to catch yourself to make sure that you're not just repeating your parenting pattern. 
And you have to break that old pattern if it was negative and hurtful. And you have to learn to do it differently. And you have to be cognizant about it all the time to help develop those kids, to develop those kids to do things differently. Because we don't want shame to be internalized or to be in their life. What we want is a positive sense of self that encourages growth, autonomy, and success and achieving what they want to achieve. And that takes self-confidence. And parenting by shame doesn't help them get there. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.